Hey, what's going on, everyone? Merry Christmas. It is December 2023. Man, what happened to January through November? Gone. It's just gone. So as is the boating season. It's been a while since I've done a video. I meant to do this video last year. Didn't get it done. We're going to do it this year. I hope you find this video in time for it to be helpful. There's 23 days left till Christmas, so plenty of shopping time. But what this is, is Five, my five favorite things that I think would make amazing Christmas presents for your favorite boater. Let's just dive into it. Ready? Number one. Number one is the cheapest one I'm going to have on the list. Um, it's maybe a great stocking stuffer. Anyway, what it is right there, it is a little multi-tool that goes on your boat. It has a line cutter. It has a bottle opener. It has it's a little hammer, I believe, that it does. It has a drain plug socket on it. It also has the key that helps you with your gas cap or your water fill cap on your boat. Um, now, here's the caveat to that. If you use anything other than the standard brass drain plug, the little 3 8 by 3 8 or whatever size it is, half by half, this doesn't work. We have a bigger one. We have one of those Tidal Wave, the LED. Uh, it doesn't work on that. So that's the only downside to that. But anyhow, I, I still find this thing amazing. I think this will make a great stocking stuffer or just that last minute, I need one more thing kind of thing or that gag gift even. Or if you and friends exchange Christmas presents, but you don't have, you know, hey, we're not gonna do over 25 or $30, this is it. And if it, they're a boater, I promise you, I promise, they will find this extremely useful. This is a great thing and one of the favorite things on my boat. So there's number one. Number two. Number two is, it's not sexy. Let's just call it what it is. It's a battery charger. It mounts on our boat. It's a guest brand. Again, it's right here. Guest brand battery charger. It's a dual bank. So it is simultaneously working on both of our batteries when it's plugged in, which it is right now sitting right out there in our driveway, keeping my batteries ready to go for spring. It's not only a charger, it's a conditioner and maintainer. It's a five stage digital charger. It's super lightweight, doesn't add a lot of weight to your boat. It's easy to mount and there is one thing you have to do on it, one. And that's plug it in, that's it. You plug it in and it works. It checks your batteries, it runs through its stages, it maintains them so you're ready to go. It's great, they make a single, a dual bank, a triple bank for sure, and I think a four. I'm not positive on that, so don't quote me. Um, anyway, if I'm wrong, you, someone just let me know in the comments. Anyway, um, mine is a dual bank, and it is right about $150. I think I just saw it on Amazon for $133 today. Like I said, super easy in amount. Plug it in, it's a standard 110 volt Edison plug that plugs into your house. Bada bing, bada boom, done. It is an amazing, amazing piece of technology on my boat. So number three is our Twin Hornet 45 bilge heater. We don't do a full winterization here. We are in, in middle Tennessee. It does not get super cold for super long. That being said, it's out in the driveway. I have dumped the water out of the block. So I do take extra precautions. I still love having this in here. It has worked plenty of times sitting in our slip on a lift with the water in the block. This will be season number three we're using it and it has not failed us yet. Knock on wood. Anyway, what I love about this, it's super tiny. I kid you not, it's about this big. I mean, it is small and it, again, has nothing you have to do other than plug it in. There's no knobs, no switches, no dials, no thermostat to set, no anything. It is a heater, you plug it in, put it in your bilge, let her rip. So it kicks on when it senses temperature uh, in the bilge is below 40. And again, don't quote me on it, but I think it kicks off at 45 degrees and above. And let me tell you, it works. I'm gonna put a couple screenshots right up here. One morning, it was a whopping 24 degrees. This just doesn't even, it's 24, too cold. And I looked at, because I've got a little go V. Ooh, maybe there's a bonus on this one. Uh, I looked at the temperature in our bilge, 
and it was 52, I think, somewhere around there. So it had been working and kept me, you know, comfortable. Even though the water's dumped out of my block, what I like about it is it keeps everything from getting extremely cold and brittle. Keeps all the hoses, the electrical wires, the plastic, keeps it all where it's still pliable. It doesn't get super cold and then thaw and super cold and thaw and then you start to have issues. Um, so what I love about this thing, like I said, it just works. It has dual heating elements, dual fans. It is completely submergible certified and it's Coast Guard approved. Now it is the most expensive thing that I have on my list here and it's just about $300. Again, links below, but $300 versus six, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for a cracked block, I think it's kind of a safe bet. So there's number three. Okay, number four. Number four, um, well, I'm just gonna wrap myself out. I have two of these things. One works in my boat, one doesn't. And it's a UHF radio. I have a Uniden mountable uh, hardwire UHF radio that's not modern water. It's not mounted. It's not wired up yet. It's in my boat. I just haven't figured out where I want it. Bubba. Anyway, so I think a UHF radio is crucial to have on the water. Now, I just said I don't have that one. It doesn't work. It works. It's not mounted. I'm getting down a rabbit hole here. Anyway, I do have another one. I'll put the link here. I have a Baofeng. It's actually a ham radio. It's 5R or 9R or 145R or I don't know. It's an R something. Um, it's a ham radio that you can completely program frequencies in, store them, label them. So what I did is I took all the frequencies for channel 9, channel 16, channel 13, and all of the weather stations, all the weather channels uh, that broadcast on UHF, put those in. So I do have some way of communicating via UHF on my boat because as you know, you get on that water and cell signal sometimes is extremely coveted. It's, it's boating. It's not if you have a problem, it's when you have a problem and hopefully you have cell service when that happens. But if you don't, you do have a VHF radio or UHF radio that you can hail help. So I think that one is... Uh, Pretty important. Uh, it's pretty beneficial. Hopefully you never have to use it. So there's number four. Number five. Number five, I think, is probably one of the least thought about boating accessory, but that is boat towing insurance. I cannot speak highly enough of boat towing insurance. We use Boat US, and I think our plan is a just a little over $200 a year, but it is the full enchilada. It is the top package for them. They may not be in your area. There's plenty of others that you can choose from. Like I said, we use Boat US. I'll just put a picture up here, maybe a description down below. So in Middle Tennessee, maybe you want to consider them. That is number five, which I think ties back to kind of maybe number four and also number two with your batteries. And I just thought a second ago, Let's get to the bonus. So I'll link this right up here. Again, I'll link this down below. And that is our Govi. It's a grow hydrometer thermostat, blah, blah, blah. It's just this little device. Works off of Wi-Fi. You set it up and your app, like I said, I'll do a screenshot here of actually what it looks like and lets me know what the temperature is in my build anytime I look. It just gives me peace of mind. I want to say the thing's like $35. The app is free. The device is about $35 and you can add as many as you want. So you could use those, you know, in a shop or at work or in your house, however you want to do it. So I think that's a good bonus. That's number six. So anyway, there it is. There's my five plus one, what I think are amazing Christmas gifts for your favorite boater. All the links down below, they are affiliate links. If you click on those, we do make a little bit of commission. It's not a lot of money and it doesn't add anything to you. It takes it from the Amazon side. Anyhow, it is December 2nd, 2023. I have 491 subscribers on this channel. Thank you all. That is awesome. There's 491 of you who thought, I'm gonna subscribe to this guy. So I appreciate it. I am, I'm hoping like crazy that we can get to 500 
before Christmas. That would be kind of cool. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it entertaining. Hope it at least sparked you in thinking, okay, here's some different things that I can do for my favorite boater for Christmas. It may not be those items. Get to looking. Maybe it brought you another idea. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching. Do me a favor. If you don't mind, subscribe. 500. 500 would be cool. Um, subscribe. Share it. Give it a thumbs up. And leave me comments. If you have any of these or anything that are similar to it or you think are better ideas, leave a comment. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. I will see you on the next video.